thank you for joining our daily outlook and today we'll cover the changes in the euro dollar pair greg will be sharing insights from our trading desk the gold dollar pair traded sideways in the last session the roc is giving a negative signal the euro dollar pair traded sideways in the last session the ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal the pound dollar price remained largely unchanged in the last session the ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal the bitcoin dollar pair dove 1.2 percent in the last session the stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. Thank you for sharing with us. Now let's hear from our news department. U.S. stock index has slipped in choppy trading as investors braced for a pivotal week for global markets in which Americans will elect a new president and the Federal Reserve is likely to cut its benchmark policy rate. Cryptocurrency investment products posted another massive week as the United States presidential election draws closer. Digital investment products saw $2.2 billion in inflows from October the 26th to November the 2nd, bringing year-to-date inflows to a record-breaking $29.2 billion. Ford Motor Monday reported an about 15% rise in U.S. auto sales during October, from a year earlier, aided by demand for its F-Series trucks and hybrid models. Sales of its trucks, which include the popular F-150 model, climbed 29.2% to 100,847 units. Thank you. Now let's hear today's most important economic event. Australia's RBA interest rate decision will be released at 3.30 GMT. Japan's 10Y bond auction at 3.35 GMT. The US ISM Services PMI at 15 GMT. Japan's BOJ Monetary Policy Meeting minutes will be released at 23.50 GMT. Australia's RBA rate statement at 3.30 GMT. The French industrial output at 7.45 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.